So this is a subtraction problem, and we always have to be careful when it's subtraction. So just remember that. So look at the denominators. Can I factor anything? Well, this x plus 2 here, that, that doesn't factor, it's just x plus 2. But the other denominator, that's the difference of squares. And so we're going to factor it into x plus 2 and to x minus 2. So then let's get the LCD. I'm going to need an x plus 2 and an x minus 2. So the first term, that already has the LCD. So I can just like recopy that. 2x over x plus 2, x minus 2. And then it's going to be minus. Now the second rational expression, the one we're subtracting, that needs a factor of x minus 2. It's got the x plus 2, but it needs an x minus 2. So, um, so we have to make a decision here how we want to do it. I'm going to write 1 times x minus 2 over x plus 2, x minus 2. Okay, so the denominators are the same. And then we're going to have to subtract. Now, probably the easiest way to do it is to write 2x and then think of this minus sign like with the negative 1. So sometimes students will make add the opposite, you know, like that. That's fine. Um, that might be more confusing for you. So if you don't want to write it that way, you don't have to. But it's going to be minus x plus 2. Because when you do this distributing here, you're going to get a negative x and you're going to get a negative, I'm sorry, a positive 2. So I think maybe I wouldn't write this part. I would just leave the subtraction sign, but remember that those are kind of, those are like a negative 1 that you're distributing. <laughs> okay, well, I hope that helps. Now in the denominator, we have x plus 2, x minus 2 still. That's our common denominator. And then we'll see if we can do anything in the numerator. We can simplify. So 2x minus x is just going to be x plus 2. And in the denominator, we have x plus 2, x minus 2. Oh, this is exciting because it looks like something's going to happen this time, right? So in the numerator, I have a factor of x plus 2. And in the denominator, I have a factor of x plus 2. So those get to cancel. Now, what happens if the numerator cancels out? You have to keep a 1 up there. <laughs> okay, it's like a placeholder. If you didn't, then you wouldn't have a numerator. And we want to make sure that x minus 2 is in the denominator. See, like if I took the 1 away, it would just look like x minus 2, and that's not what we have. We have 1 over x minus 2. Okay, so that's a sticky point sometimes for students. So if the numerator cancels out, you got to put a 1. If the denominator cancels out, you don't have to put the 1 on the denominator. If everything cancels out, the whole answer is just 1. Okay.